Hey guys, what is up? I am back again with another video, and I'm doing another Sonic Crush collection. I know what you're probably wondering. Oh, Grayson, why are you doing another Sonic Plus collection? You posted one a few days ago. But I'm doing this to see how good my editing is because I just got a new app and I'm going to see how good I can edit. If my editing is crappy, I, I am sorry. This is going to be my first time editing and if it and if my editing somehow turns out to be good, um, the app I'm using is CapCut. It's a normal editing software. But let's start with the first plush. Okay, we got another big lad right here. We got the 24-inch um, Pillow Sonic um, by Franco. They made a, like, 12 to 14-inch one, which I really want to get. But, yeah, I think this is the um, smaller re release, though, from Walmart. They made a dark blue version that's bigger from Target. But, um, yeah, 24-inch Franco Pillow Sonic. Okay, so the first plush is this GE 28-inch Sonic. Let me just put it down so you can see how big it is. It's pretty big. Um, I kept the hang string on it. I was keeping the tag on it, but when I put it with all my other plushies, I guess the tag just got ripped off. But, yeah, that's a GE 20-inch Sonic. Okay, we got another big lad, but not as big of, as those guys. This is the 18-inch Sticker Bomb Toy Factory Sonic. And his hand, as you can see, that part is ripping. But I'll probably just get, like, my mom or to sew it or something. But, yeah, 18-inch sticker bomb Sonic. Okay, this one is one I really like. It's a 12-inch Toy Factory Sonic. But I made him custom soap shoes that actually go on and off. So, yeah. See? I can actually take them off. And... If I don't want, sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Yeah. There we go. And now they're off and you can see the inside of them. And uh, if I don't want them on, then I can just have normal Sonic. Um, and also that part around his mouth, I hot glued like an open mouth with his teeth, but that looked really crappy, so yeah. Soap shoe Sonic. Okay, my next Sonic is a Jack specific movie Sonic, but I fixed it. Um, I fixed his mouth specifically because his mouth wasn't really like the same color as his muzzle. It was like a darker tan with like a little black line. So yeah, then I made his electric eyes and then I took a teal marker and put that over his eyes because you would know the old plush had like olive green eyes, then electricity balls in his hands. So yeah, Jack's movie 2 Sonic. Then while we're at it, we got Jack's classic Sonic. Not much to say about it. It's just... Jack's classic Sonic. Yeah, really like it. Except for the fact that he's a pancake head, but... Classic Sonic! Alright! Okay, then we got my 10-inch poseable GE Sonic, which looks crappy. He has a really crappy mouth. And he has embroidered eyes. That doesn't even look like a smile. Let me show you the one that I like, but his leg broke. So that's the one I broke, which looks way better because he actually has a smile. He has printed on eyes. And because his leg broke, I really just put him next to my Alexa. Yeah. Next to my Dremel. Yeah, that's the one I broke. Okay, already we have a bit of, bit of Sonics, but let's continue with GE Metal Sonic. I think this is the best plush GE ever made. I really like this, but, um, yeah, I really like this. I think it's really cool. Okay, then we got my custom Sonic Rider Sonic that, um, again, I went over with the teal for the eyes to make them look more shiny green instead of olive green. Um, I did, I tried to do the same mouth thing, but it just didn't work. And then, um, I like how I made his glasses. Because he can actually put them on. And I think it looks really cool. Then I did his black wristbands. But the thing I really like about him. Is that I actually customized his shoes. I really like how his shoes look. Um, not as much as the soap shoes. Because the soap shoes are just really cool. And I'm thinking about adding gray on the bottom of them. But yeah. I really like this plush. I think it's really cool. Okay, next up, we have this little toy factory 
emoji Sonic that I won at Dave and Buster's. I really like it. And I also have this Toy Factory 8 inch Sonic that I also really like. If you're wondering why I didn't cut, he was just right next to me. So I'm like, okay, I'll just grab him. Both made by Toy Factory, and I love them both. But I love this one just a teensy winty more because it's my first ever Sonic plush. Next up, we got my movie baby Sonic, which, as you all know, exactly in my videos. I do not know where my detective hat is or my magnifying glass. Which, fun fact, the magnifying glass, I feel like I should explain this in character. The magnifying glass was actually Cody's glasses um, from Jacody. Um... It was his glasses, if you don't know what I mean by that, on Lance's channel. he They had, like, the stupid Cody, the stupid Cody place that looked stupid, and they named him Jacody. But, yeah, it's Jacody's glasses. Um, I taped them together to use as my you know, magnifying glass and also my sunglasses because I'm awesome. Yeah. But, yeah, this uh, Zachary, he's awesome. And he's by Jack Specific, so, yeah. Now, with that little ramble out of the way, we got Kid Robot Sonic, which I gave him a mouth that actually looks good. Yeah, his mouth actually looks good, along with the eyes, which I'm going to add white dots to be a stunt double for that boy. So, yeah, look forward to it. Okay, I don't know why I didn't say this when I was talking about the um, Kid Robot Sonic, but he used to actually be a classic Sonic, but I peeled off his classic eyes. Anyways, we got both my Dark Sonic plushies. We got the one that I used for my Bootleg Toy Factory Sonic. Then we got this one that I made to be in scale with my Toy Factory Sonic. It actually sizes pretty good. Um, I forgot to even give him ears, which I will add to him i didn't have any gray so i had to use black again i'll probably go over with gray again but yeah i uh, really like him oh yeah if it wasn't obvious already we're moving on to sonic forms okay then we got all three of my supersonics which i'm just going to show right here we got kid robot supersonic which i fixed back then we got my bootleg Supersonic, which I turned into a Fleetway Sonic, which, again, I really like. And then, finally, we got... I'm ashamed of this plushie just because of how bad it looks. Like, what is this? And then his spike is tearing off. Look, he literally has a banana as a friggin' spike. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, we have two more plushies, which I'm just gonna show right now without cutting. We got Sonic.exe, which I gave claws he used to have like an open mouth but it was coming off so i'm just like screw it i'll just tear it off and we got a bootleg werehog which i gave an open mouth it's sonics really cool now we can move on to his little fox buddy okay let's start off with my first ever tails plush jack specific classic tails this is my old Tails plush I used to use back when I still had my old YouTube channel. And he did not scale perfect with Sonic at all. He was the only classic guy. But I loved him. He was amazing. He's my first Tails plush. And I love him. Next up, we got a Boom Tails plush that I was scammed on. I don't remember where I bought him, but I was scammed. I thought it was real, but fake. I don't like it. But still, I'm going to use it with my new Tails plush that I will show in a second. Okay, so my new Tails plush was going to be this emoji Tails that I fixed. You know, he had these Tails... And then his eyes. But no. The new Tails I'm using is modern. I turned it into a modern Tails. GE Classic Tails, which I turned modern, like I already said. Now, he, will, he does not size well with Sonic at all. But that's okay, because I was going to get a GE um, modern Sonic that is not posable. 
because I want an actual plush to use in videos. And when I start making quality thumbnails, I'm going to use the Postable Sonic for thumbnails. So, yeah. But this is my new Tails plush. Let's move on. Okay, we got a another Jack uh an another Jack specific classic Tails, which I turned into Super Tails, which I really like. Uh, I tried to use hot glue pellets to make his eyes look like that. I'm I think I'm just gonna add white dots just to make it better. But he has a Chaos Sphere, and I was gonna make a Super Flicky or pecky or whatever they're called. I think they're called a super flicky. But I was going to make it so he could control them because super tails can control super flickies. Yeah, super tails. I really like them. Okay, this is my last tails plush before we move on to my custom tails plushies. Ah, 13 inch. Don't know why he's not 12 inch like Sonic and Knuckles, but 13 inch Toy Factory tails. I love him. I don't know why he has blue on his socks instead of gray, but that's fine. And if you're asking why am I doing this, I'm going to cover up these with gray. And yes, I am going to get a new GE Classic Tails because I think he looks way better than uh, Classic Jack's Tails, but still, I am going to be getting another one. But that is Toy Factory Tails. Now let's move on to my custom Tails plushies. So first, we have a custom movie Tails. I really like this, and then his tails, I forgot to cover up those areas, but I really like this movie tails um, plush custom, and fun fact, this was actually my first, um, my first stuff plushie, so I stuffed his head, stuffed his um, tails, everything is stuffed, and my mom helped me with it because I had no idea what I was doing at the time. All I knew was making little things out of felt, which are awful. So now I make stuffed plushies. I know how to do it, and I love this. Now let's move on to my final Tails plush. Okay, so this is one of my favorite um, uh, Sonic characters, at least horror Sonic characters. And if it wasn't obvious enough what Tails it is by now, we got... The Tails doll. I love Tails doll. He is so cool. I didn't stuff his tails because I didn't see a point in doing it. Um, I corrected my mistake on movie tails and I actually put white over the side areas. Um, I did forget to do the thing on his tails. Uh, on his tails? On his shoes. So I'll probably just do that later. Um... Yeah, I really like this guy, and I love those small little stomachies. Okay, now that that is out of the way, now we are moving on to Knuckles. So let's start with my first ever Knuckles plush, of course. The Jax movie Knuckles. I like it. Just Jax, why did he have to be sucking warheads 24-7? Glips! Okay, let's keep it rolling with Jax. We got Jax classic Knuckles. Which, again, I really like. It is the remake, but still. Let's move on with Classic Knuckles. We continued with Jax. Now we're continuing with Classic. So first, we got Classic GE Knuckles. Let's continue with GE. We got GE Emoji Knuckles, which I think, I'm pretty sure I was missing in the, in the last plush collection. But, um, yeah. GE emoji knuckles which i really want to get the other knuckles the the other um modern knuckles plush but for now the other knuckles plush that i'm about to show you guys is just fine for me okay so this knuckles plush i'm about to show you is just fine for my series we have toy factory fix knuckles plush um i based him off of a image it's it he has this like kind of grinning expression expression so i gave him this mouth which looks exactly like it does in the image so i'm really happy with that and then his eye ridges which i based off of the image but i also wanted to do it because of the g classic then the little black lines yeah really happy with how it turned out we continued with jacks we continued with classic we continued with ge we continued with modern 
Now, let's continue with Toy Factory. We got this Emoji Knuckles by Toy Factory. I do like the GE one a little more just because I hate that they made it a baby blue color, but I do get why they did it so you could see his eyes better with them being like that. You can't really see his eyes too good, so it looks just like he has plain black eyes, but yeah, really like it. Okay, let's still continue with official and modern. We have Kid Robot Knuckles, which I am going to fix and give him normal eyes and probably a bigger crescent. But, yeah, really like him. Kid Robot Funny Knuckles. He also has a grin. And I love when plushies, Sonic plushies, show their teeth. This is a really good plush, by the way. Okay, now we got bootleg Knuckles plushies, which this is the Knuckles plush I made because I was bored. I took the stunt double for that guy. I kind of regret this, but yeah, beat up Knuckles plush, which I guess I could always, I guess I could always just get another one because it's a bootleg, but yeah, beat up Knuckles plush. Yeah, and I cut his finger for some reason, but yeah beat up knuckles this is inspired by a sonic.exe movie when sonic stabbed knuckles through the eye yeah that's what this was inspired by but yeah okay then we got a knuckles plush that i really love we got metal knuckles i love this i don't know if this crescent thing is supposed to be black i think it's because black was all i had at the time um, if it is actually black, I'll just leave it, but if it's gray, then I'll make it gray. Those I just made because I didn't feel like doing gray on his shoes, but yeah. Then his spikes, which I'm actually thinking about cutting these off and then making these again, but stuffing them. But yeah. Yay. Okay, I'm just now noticing after I said metal knuckles, I'm like, wait metal knuckles and i forgot to show this with the tails it's a custom metal tails that i made out of the um funny tails um i really like it and i love how metal tails <laughs> i didn't really have an image to base this off of so i just did it like did my own thing i love how metal tails actually has normal tails eyes because metal knuckles has green and his is purple metal sonic has red and his are green <laughs> And Metal Tails actually has blue. But I didn't feel like making new eyes because I felt like it would be kind of stupid. But yeah, uh, I gave him rocket boots, kind of like how Sonic does. Um, then his claws. Then I actually cut off these. And uh, then I just added like three button type things. And the tails work perfectly for this because Funny Tails' tails suck because they're in like the middle of his back, not even at the end. And, um, yeah, it works perfectly. So, and I added just three red buttons on his, on the back of the head for no reason. But, yeah, I'm probably going to edit this, all of this out because this is way past one minute by now. Okay, now to continue. Don't be, but don't be possessed like Silly Zack's freaking custom soap shoe Sonic was. You stay, stop being possessed. Anyways, we got a Super Knuckles plush, which I really like. But yeah, Super Knuckles. Nice. Okay, now we're moving on to Shadow, and I don't feel like editing this much, so I'm just going to move on. So I'm just going to do this all in one take. We got Toy Factory Shadow, which I got at Dave & Buster's. This Bootleg Shadow. <clears throat> Yeah, I did this because of this guy. I wanted to put it on this guy to make it look more accurate. And I don't feel too bad. I think I'm just going to, like, use this guy for extra stuffing and for pieces like hands and noses and shoes and stuff. So, yeah. I'll probably just order another one to actually use as a stunt double because I'm starting to use this guy. Then I got Toy Factory Emoji Shadow, which I got at Dave & Buster's. Kid Robot Funny Shadow, which I fixed. Super Shadow Bootleg, which I really like. And Methless, which I really like. Which at first I thought was a bootleg because his arms aren't really stuffed good. But um, after further investigation, I found out that it isn't a bootleg. Because bootleg Mephlesses either don't have these spikes or they're like really close to the point where you can't see them 
where you can't see the little parts of them. So, yeah. Also, I don't think a bootleg Mephiles would have this much detail. That's it for Shadow. Now let's move on to Amy. Okay, for the next few parts, like Amy and Silver, I'm not going to do... I'm not going to um, cut it because of how small they are. So we got Toy Factory um, Emoji Amy, which I customized to be more game accurate since she is my since she is my current Amy, but I'm going to get the GE Amy eventually. Then we got Ugly Disgusting Bootleg Amy, which I absolutely despise because bleh, so I'm going to give her more spikes. Then we got my custom Amy, which honestly, classic Amy, I think she looks a little better. Yeah, she looks way better than that bootleg, but I still don't think she, <laughs> she definitely isn't the best, but I like her. She has some charm. Now to move on to silver. So for silver, we have the one I'm using. I don't care if my Sonic will be if my Sonic and Tails, I don't care if Tails is taller than him, this is my favorite silver plush, I'm going to continue using him, my Tomy Collector Silver, then we got my first ever silver plush, which was a bootleg, and since it was a bootleg, I have a rule to never customize my first plushies, unless it's a bootleg, or if it's to make it look more accurate, and this was a bootleg, so I don't really care about customizing it, but I made him, like, power silver, and he has power on him. Then the marker, the Sharpie kind of got worn out around it, but his head looks all powerful. And his eyes and stuff, which, again, was used by the same two marker. For my final plush, I don't really think it looks that good, but I'm happy with how it turned out. A custom super silver. And I tried, and he actually skills up pretty good with Tommy Silver. And I tried to make his hands look like that. His shoes. Yeah, I uh, really like this. So Super Silver. Now let's move on to Eggy Weggy, the Eggmaster himself. Okay, so Eggman and the Sonic Mania set is going to be where I'm not going to cut anymore. But for miscellaneous, I have a lot of miscellaneous, so I am going to be cutting for that. We got GE Modern Eggman, which I really like. He's my Eggman of the channel. Then we got my first ever Eggman, which is Jack's Classic Eggman, which I really like him too. Then we have a custom Eggman, and if you're wondering why I used maroon instead of red, it is because I did not have enough red, so I just settled for maroon. Classic Eggman, which I really like. I think he looks pretty good. Yeah. I didn't stuff his uh, other limbs, but I think it's fine. Classic Eggman. Okay, now for the Sonic Mania set, which contains one Mighty and three Rays. We have Jack's Classic Mighty, which I did this to make him look happier. We got a Ray bootleg, which I really like. Ray by Jack Specific. And a custom Ray plush I made, which, again, I did not stuff his limbs, but I think it's fine. Now for miscellaneous. Ah, my, I am so sorry my camera is all crooked. Yeah, this is how it looks straight. At least I think so. I'll check this, and if it's not straight, then I'll retake it. But yeah, this is Sonic Mania set. So for miscellaneous, I will, um, yeah. I will cut. Okay, now for miscellaneous. So first we have both of Eggman's robots, which I like more than the robots in um, Sonic X. Qbot and Orbot. And I'm gonna remake Orbot because for one, his eyes are not put how they should be. Um, he's taller, his arms don't match, his hands don't match. His bottom is more clunkier, and he just looks weird, so I'm going to remake him, and I'm not going to make my own design of him, I'm just going to remake him how Tomy made him. I might remake Cubot, but I don't know, because Cubot is, he's a real G, he's my favorite of the bots, but yeah, that's Cubot, that's Warbot. Okay, so next up we have a bootleg, which is Rouge the Bat. And I used that teal marker to make her eyes look like this because her eyes are actually teal and the bootleg made them more green. But yeah. 
that is rouge the bat okay so next up for another bootleg which came with rouge we got blaze the cat and her tail is not like that so i think i'm just like gonna cut off the tail and make my own version of it and then i'll use this tail for like a, a big the cat custom or something because it really is big the cat's tail yeah blaze the cat which is really tall Okay, next up, we have one of my favorite GE plushies. We got Gamma, which I was going to order a, um, another one and make him look more like Omega because I feel like making an Omega plush would just be really hard, especially trying to make it size well with Gamma. Yeah, no. So I'm just going to get another one and try to make it look like Omega. Yeah, that's Gamma. Okay, next up is another one of my customs which his hand um got like ripped off or something so i'm gonna make him another hand but we got fang the sniper and i'm also gonna fix his tooth because when i hot glued it his tooth wanted to go inward not outward so yeah but i also had to remake his tail and yes that is cardboard to support his head because it kept wanting to like lean back so i'm like you know what? i'll put cardboard to support it it's a hat yeah that's fine next next up we have one of my favorite custom sonic plushies that i that i didn't just make from like using a sonic plush like actually an actual plush i think this is my favorite other than probably like fang and dark sonic and cubot but we have chaos which i'm probably gonna put cardboard behind his head and then just cover it up with felt because his head wants to lean back a lot but yeah yeah chaos which i really love next up we all know who he is shadow killed him but it's a bootleg we have infinite which i guess i'll put right here i really like infinite i hate that they made his hand big but hey as long as he has four fingers unlike a lot of other bootleg plushies that only get the three finger treatment yeah i really like this plush okay next up this is a plush this is why i oh, sorry my camera's doing this thing again um this is also another reason why i wanted the ge sonic plush not only because it would be a good plush to use but also because it would size well with this plush bootleg jet the hawk which i was gonna like cut his glasses and like take some stuffing out of it because his glasses are way too thick yeah that's jet the hawk and then i was also probably gonna fix his eyes that was jet the hawk next up we got cheese the chow which i really like i think it is a great plush and i really like how i made this cheese the chow I have a lot of plushies related to Shadow. Um, we have Shadow's dad, sorta. We got Doom's eye. Uh, this is how I can tell he's upside down because his uh, um, this is his bottom and his top is wider. So this is how I can tell when he's upside down. Yeah, that's Doom's eye. Next up, we got my custom um, Vector the Crocodile. Um, his chain doesn't really look good. Now he looks good from both sides. But when you look at him from the front, he just he just looks like a monstrosity at that point. Like, the side's pretty good, but the front is just... Man, Monty, what did I do to you? Have I been saying Monty the whole time? Okay, well, to be fair, Monty is better than you, Vector. Like, come on. Okay, now that I just got done being embarrassed by calling Vector Monty. Next up, we got... Yeah, Jack Specific Dark Chow. This is gonna be his voice for him because I think it's just the perfect voice for him. Yeah, take that, you stupid idiot. I'm better than you, Zachary. No, I'm better than you, you stupid Dark Chow. No, I'm better than you, Zachary. Blah. Yeah, that's Dark Chow. Okay, so I was getting my Jade Wisp plush to show, which is really good. I really like that we finally have a Wisp plush, a affordable one. So hopefully Jack Specific can make a yacker but yeah but i was looking at it how am i gonna put cheese and i don't know what to call him yet but how am i gonna put cheese and dark chow in the same video this boy could freaking stomp on him and he's dead but yeah sorry about that doomsday yeah jack specific jade wisp plush okay 
I take back everything I said. Screw Qbot, screw Chaos, skew, screw Fang, and screw up any other plush I made back there. This is the king of my collection. A custom Motobug plush. I love this plush. I need this plush. You need this plush. I am so happy with how good it is. All the way from the head to the body to, to whatever you want to call these. To the fangs, to the eyes. I know the eyes are a little wonky right here. But he looks so good. And I am so happy with how he turned out. He looks so amazing. I'm just so happy with this. But with that being the final plush, the Sonic plush collection is over. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.